Kirk Cousins has agreed to an extension with the Minnesota Vikings. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports all back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL. And here to talk about this very news in regards to Kirk Cousins. And I know I'm a little late to this, but I did want to get my quick thoughts on this, folks. So he agreed to an extension with the Minnesota Vikings for another year and uh, at about $35 million. That is fully guaranteed. And let me just say right off the bat, Kirk Cousins' agent, or maybe it's Kirk Cousins, whoever it is, needs to be inducted into the Age Hall of Fame. All right? This man has found a way to get fully guaranteed contracts every single season he's been in the NFL, as far as I know. You go back and look at how much he's been getting paid and all his contracts, and it's all fully guaranteed. This man knows how to negotiate or his agent does, certainly. So, Kirk Cousins, if you don't get it, and you won't get into the NFL Hall of Fame, but you certainly will get into the business, the negotiation Hall of Fame, for these contracts that you've been able to sign. All right, now let's get serious on the football side of things here. A one-year deal. What's my rule, guys? There's no such thing as a bad one-year deal. That's usually what I say. Now, there's always exceptions. But the reason I say that is because if you don't like the deal, it's one year. And then after the year, you're done with, right? So same thing here. It's a one-year deal. So I can't say it's bad because it's only a one-year deal. It's not a long-term commitment to Kirk Cousins. But at the same time, there's obviously a notion around the league with fans, with media, etc., that Kirk Cousins just does not deserve the money. And... I'm always torn with Kirk Cousins because his numbers always look rock solid. Like, you take a look at his numbers, and these are, I'm serious, folks. His numbers are top five, top 10 quarterback numbers. Now, nobody will put him in their top five or even top 10, but the numbers say he is. And so, what is the disconnect here, right? The disconnect really is Kirk Cousins has always been good enough to keep you competitive, to be a starter, but he's never going to take you to the promised land. And I got to use the guy we had here in Chicago for a number of years, and that's Jay Cutler. You remember, obviously, with Jay Cutler, uh, I'm not comparing their, them as quarterbacks in terms of their style. I'm just saying that Jay Cutler was here for a number of years, but he was never elite, never good enough to get us over the top, but always good enough to stay the starter, always good enough to keep us competitive, and that's it, right? You're only as good as the replacement you find, right? And they can't find a replacement for Kirk Cousins, so... Until they do, they're going to keep riding Kirk Cousins. And that's what they're planning on doing here. It's a one-year deal. So for the Vikings, I don't hate it because what is the alternative to Kirk Cousins, right? Do you have Kellen Mond ready? Is he ready to go right now? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Uh, but I don't mind it. But I can see why other NFL fans are rejoicing, right? The entire division or the entire... Uh, NFC because you know Kirk Cousins will never take you to the top. Now there's a chance, right, if you surround him with everything that he's good enough to do so, but it needs to be perfect. It needs to be pretty much perfect. And so that's the thing with Kirk Cousins. He's always good enough to be solid and that's where the Vikings are going to be, right? That 7, 8, 9, 10 win range and it's always good enough to be competitive but never good enough to win the Super Bowl, right? So being mediocre, it's like being in quicksand, folks. So I'm not a big fan of that, but Kirk Cousins is a solid quarterback. I can't take that away from him. I don't think he's trash like a lot of fans do. I don't think he's elite, but I don't think he's trash. I think he's a solid starting quarterback, and if you surround him with an elite defense, an elite running game, an elite roster, you can win a Super Bowl, but him alone, he won't carry you there. So a one-year deal, I think it's okay. I don't think it's anything great. Uh, but yeah, man, Kirk Cousins, he knows how to get paid. If there's the one thing he knows how to do, it is to get paid. So there you have it, folks, my thoughts on the Vikings re-signing Kirk Cousins. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below as always. Thanks for watching.